Yo, 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 what's up, guys? We're back with part 7 now of Days Gone. Where we left off yesterday, uh, Deacon had taken Sarah back to Cloverdale to get some DNA synthesizer or something like that, and they stumbled across a bunch of corn and different crops that had still been growing because the place was run under solar power, so they still had power this whole time, irrigation system still going, whatever, whatever. Only problem is, is there's a bunch of um, zombified crows all over the place, which is what we were up to. We had to clear that area out so that Sarah could get this piece that she needs. We did go back over the past, though, so we are back um, closer to Farewell up in the northern region. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to pick up from right now. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys already subscribed, we have had so much growth in the past couple of days. I just want to shout you guys out. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. Let's jump right in. It's starting to scare me how much of a professional YouTuber I'm starting to sound like. <laughs> Remember when I first started this? I was like, that, 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 stuttering everywhere. And now look at me. I really do appreciate you guys, though. Everybody that's helping me grow this channel, the whole community. Got big things coming. Big, big things coming. Alright, so hopefully we can get this playthrough done today. I mean, if not, I could probably do a couple of hours tomorrow before I leave. But keep in mind, guys, today is my last day. I'm taking a week off. I'll be back next, either Tuesday or Wednesday. What's up, Scott? Yeah, this load time is ridiculous. I really gotta get a PS5. <laughs> see this place again. So we've seen this cutscene in yesterday's uh, playthrough, but I'm gonna let it play through again anyway. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response. Yo, man, th face. thanks again for making that happen. Yo, you guys in that fear Discord are awesome. Y'all pushed me to 300, and it's been nothing but growth since. Oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation. I'm gonna system. check it's right now, make sure that I'm so as long as the power's I think you're on, on Twitch, this right? This is self-sustaining. Oh, wow, well, shit, this place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power, it's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is, uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! I 
I wasn't following you, but I'm following you now. I didn't even have to say nothing at the beginning of this stream. You guys just got the whole, pretty much, where we left off yesterday cutscene. Yo, shout out to the Fear Discord, though. You guys, you guys rock, man. Thank you so much for that. No doubt, that's what it's all They're about. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What's up the volume in my headset? I can't hear nothing. Right, there we go. That's better. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. Right on, fuck him. That's not what we're here for. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. All right, so now we're all caught up. What do you guys think? Somebody's still alive in here? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 200659. They have food. The fence, is, the fence is electrified, so... Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is... Um, what'd you call it? Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? So I truly believe we're gonna go in here and we're gonna find somebody still alive. Like alive, alive, not dead, alive. God damn it! I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. Mm -hmm. You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah. Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker! My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Well, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. So this game is very, um, immensive. It, it's an incredible game from start to finish. The storyline is incredible. Here, this is it. 
I just have to figure out how I mean, there's a lot of cutscenes, but that's what makes hold it so on, interesting. Makes uh, you want to keep playing it. I can shoot the latch. Shit! Good shot. You done that before? Yeah. No, never. Yeah, I got the big gun. Let me go first. I don't want to spoil it for you and tell you the whole storyline. I have been doing a playthrough on this for like two weeks now. And I have completed the game already, so I, I can tell you it's definitely worth it. Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me And if you're on PS5, I think I this is free in the Play Store. It's one I'm of the free you, games. There's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's going to let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <laughs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. Mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. <laughs> yeah, I, I can strongly recommend this game, though. You're not going to be disappointed with it. Now we got this alarm ringing speakers. the whole Voice time. Me fucking crazy. <laughs> With you there. Take these shits the hell out. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Clear ish. Yeah, go ahead. Call 911. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming. The fucking world ended, bitch. There we go. Somebody called 911. Where was that ammo at? Where are these alarms at? Oh, they're up top. Oh, good shot, baby. She got my back better than Boozer, dude. This is so hard, man. I think we're still missing a speaker. I don't know, it's not as loud anymore Alert. though. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Are you gonna Multiple open the door? It's locked. Fire. Hold on. Security Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh God, shut the fuck up already. For real. You must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, Alert. we Alert. go in together. Can you open the damn door already? You Thank you. Oh. And where? What's that? Oh, I see him. I see him. Don't shoot my wife, bitch. Might as well take this camera out, too. So. Fuck him. Come on, poke it out. Poke it out. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody? You open the door. Alert. Let's go. Alert. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Please and thank you. Well, 
Ready? Alert. Alert. This is the Move! Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Fuck well, Jim. like you said, a lot's changed. Alright, let's load up on whatever we need. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. So since it is a survival game, you do want to, like, look around and stuff. Like, we need this to make Molotovs and stuff. If you're going for trophies, you want to do that too, but I platinum this game already, so. Alert. I'm just looking for stuff Alert. to make Molotovs. I can burn out nests and unlock the area. Are on their way. It's clear. Stand Same here. And you will not be harmed. Let's check out this side real quick. And then we're going to go fuck up Jim. We should have fucked up Jim years ago. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Let them wait. I'll be with them in a second. Let's go. Open it up. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Yeah, we did, we said that already and it's still going. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Alert. Alert. And Alert. Alert. Fucking bitch. Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Plank, let's go. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Alert. Over here. <sighs> There's a ledge out here. We should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down some pressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's and that? that would be? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? You better remember yeah, that, Deacon, because I ain't gonna remember that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Probably needs a boost up on the roof because I didn't see a way where she can climb up on her own. But they got a chopper right there, yo. We could take that and be out. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. You can't climb up here? Are you. Jersey. And now we're both stuck. You really can't climb up here? Oh, right here. Okay. I was gonna say, like... Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's go. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Alert. Okay. Alert. Go. Has been you. Called. Oh, hey. Police are on their way. Deacon Lee St. John, ID 54290009. Deacon Lee St. John, welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron Beach facility. This is your first stop. Disable voice response. Fuck 
these guys. Tell her shut up, but she's still talking. Where you at, Jim? Where you at, Jimbo? He's shooting. Where the hell is he? Oh, she got him. All right. Wait here. I'll bring him to you. I think we gotta go back upstairs to get him. Tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. But you didn't want that, did you? Uh, we just couldn't take the risk. Well, now you're all dead anyway, so. Get up. Wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. Says it all. I want to get the hell out of here. Like, you ain't the chick I married. Who the fuck is this bitch? This is the lab she used to work in. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid guys spoiler alert and he must have we're getting towards the end of the game and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, 
I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped it. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Well, now we know how it started. Question is, can it be reversed? Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh... The power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. I remember this part. These fucking crows. I might as well just start shooting him now. All they're gonna do is fucking try to attack me anyway. Power building. Yeah, that's uh, that's gotta be it. Crows. I hate these crows. I'm gonna watch how terrible my aim really is. And then we're all gonna laugh when people call me a hacker in Call of Duty. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Alright, if I remember correctly, we just gotta get in the building, because they're just gonna keep spawning regardless, so. Ow. Come on! How the hell did we get in this building? I struggled with this part last time too because I kept trying to kill them. And I, I don't think we're supposed to kill them. We're supposed to um, somehow get in this building. What's up, new guy? Thanks. No doubt, Junior. Appreciate that. Yeah, the game's almost over with, so if you don't want to see how the game ends, I do appreciate you guys stopping in here, though. But I understand if you don't want to stay. <laughs> Alright, these crows, man. Maybe it was this building I gotta go into? I don't know. I know I gotta go in from outside. Because these little shits are just gonna keep fucking spawning. And they hurt when they fucking smack into me, so. Yeah, this is the power building. We just gotta figure out how to get on the roof, because I know there's ways to get into the roof. This will work. I'm not gonna hit these shits. <laughs> You're not supposed to be hitting them. How the hell do we get in this power building though? Fuck if I remember. Can we climb up here? No.
they are such bitches, yo. Like, they don't even hit me one at a time. I got an idea. I got an idea. Set the fucking car alarm off. Maybe they'll attack that. If I don't get smacked first. You bitch. That might work. Oh, that's cool. We're keeping it all in the family. That's what's up. And the car alarm didn't go off. Okay, I'm mad. That that idea didn't work. All right. Let's see if we can keep killing. That's what I said. Like they just keep respawning. Responded. We gotta get in this building somehow. I know I got stuck at this part the last time I played it. And I don't remember how I got in. And there's nothing to move to get on the roof. Fucking bulletproof glass and shit. Waste all my damn ammo, like <laughs> it's gotta be this building. We have to get in this building somehow. Shit! Open, god damn it. There has to be a way. I mean, I know there's a way into this building, it's open on top. We just gotta get on the roof. Well, there definitely ain't gonna be no spoilers here until I figure out how to get in the building. <laughs> There's gotta be something to stand on to get up on that roof. <laughs> and I'm stuck on a boat. Like the windows are open up there. We just gotta figure out a way to get up there. I kinda wish I had my sniper. I'd have better range to take these bitches out before they come charging at me. There's just the same amount of numbers of birds up there. They just keep spawning. Oh, 
Oh my god. These fucking birds, man! Climb up on here somehow. I struggled with this the first time I played through it too. Right, at least the birds won't fuck with me over here. That didn't work. <laughs> I thought maybe he'd blow up the door. Yeah, no shit, we're getting low on ammo. And they just keep spawning, like... I'm missing something. I, I have to be missing something. It's something with this fuel. Wait, wait, I see a nest. I see a nest. That might be what it is. Yep. Take out this nest real quick. Oh my god, they're all over me. Alright. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. That Take that shit the hell out. There we go. That's what it is. That does it. Oh, we're Burn almost dead. Bastards. All right, we gotta take out this other nest. All right, so we took out the one in that tree. Is there another one in this tree? No. Another tree with another nest. What's up, Daily? See, I knew I was missing something. There, there it is. There it is. Not once they stop screeching, because they always screech before they come flying at you. There we go. That's all it was. That's all it was. We wasted all that ammo shooting at them getting pissed off. And literally, that's all oh, it was. We just had to burn the, um, the nest out. So, when you play this game and you get to that part, remember that me. <laughs> Alright, now Ricky and Boozer can come in here and... I yeah, will craft that too. That was what I was trying to make. Make more Molotovs. Alright. That only took forever to remember that. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. 
Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron my tone to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. <laughs> Tell her. Tell her. You can be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Dave? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good. Security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell? You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. So Ricky had a thing for Deacon, but uh, yeah, that never went anywhere because Deacon was still. He had this feeling his wife was still alive. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said. There's an important piece of equipment that she needed, and this was where, and this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. What's up, Gene? Sorry, Captain. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? But now the militia knows where yeah. we are, so... Things might get spicy again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're fine and we're fine and... That I uh, had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. I'm good. Same old, same old. Guys, if you haven't checked out Gene the Hammer yet on YouTube, you really got to check him out, man. He's got this awesome 31 Nights of Terror series going on right now. Every day, we get a new horror, jump scare kind of thing going on. It's pretty dope. Gene is also one of my biggest supporters, so. Gene is my biggest supporter. He comments on every video. He's in every live stream. Gene is my biggest supporter, guys. Go check him out. It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something?
thing I had is soaking wet. For that's your wife. I get warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you want to eat something, all right? <laughs> God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, never mind. That's gotta be awkward, though. Being married to somebody, then not seeing them for two years because you think they're dead, and then realizing they're not dead. Oh, spoiler alert! My bad! I did warn you guys before, though. <laughs> No, guys, it's just days gone. It's not pouring on my channel. Don't worry. God, they gotta smell horrible, though. Do you imagine that? Gotta hold your breath and shit. Yeah. Now we got the New Day music playing. She's done being the cunt to him. I guess that, that's what she needed. No doubt, Jane. That's, you, you know how we're trying to do, man. Every day. We're building a community. We're building an empire on the lows. If you guys aren't in the Discord, you don't know what I'm talking about. Pop up in the Discord. The link is right there. Especially if you into streaming, you're trying to grow your channel, pop up in my Discord. And we're back to this shithole. <clears throat> this hating motherfucker. He did see that though, so... Yeah, I don't expect everybody to be the same, Jane. I know people are going to come along and they're just... They're going to want to take and not give back. I, I, I expect that. And if that's what the case that you, you see people doing now, let me know and I'll kick them out the Discord. Uh, something I told you, I want nothing but positive energy, man. That's what I'm trying to build. With people who have positive energy. Not people that are just going to come and take and not give anything in return. St. John, come in. This is not the place for this you. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head hey, back to command. You're not supposed to Stat. be here. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. In I'm on my way. There, huh? mm -hmm. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? I was with a huge group of refugees. Sarah? From Portland. Come in, Sarah. You definitely need ammo. Oh, God damn it. Okay, now that's more like it. All right, if you want my honest opinion, though, I think the first half of this game is better oh, than the second half. Um, the whole build-up and everything is, I think, yeah, okay. what makes this game what it is. Hey, Corporal St. John. The storyline on this back. side is pretty decent, too. Hey, but the build-up on the first half Corporal. is... Sarge? I, I think that's what does it for me Corporal with this John. game. See you around.
And if you're watching this far, then yeah, your game's already spoiled if you haven't played this. So, oh, we gotta go this way. Up the hill, down the hill. I think it's down the hill. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sergeant. Yeah, the infirmary is... Right here. Okay. I'm just trying to get through the story mode so um, I get this playthrough done Go. before I leave because I am leaving Monday night. Hey, what's Tomorrow going on? night. Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. I said, if you remember one ear, the one who didn't listen, he just killed the doctor to take the drugs. But yeah, this video is more of a, a finishing up the storyline because, yeah, it's not a lot of gameplay. It's going to be a lot of cutscenes. But I have a whole playlist set up on my channel from start to finish of Days Gone. So if you do like it and, I don't know, you, you want to watch the playthrough, it also it's all there. The life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. I think that was his boyfriend. To many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled. Hour after hour. Tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life though for that I and you hear zombies screaming in the background very sorry the great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced dr jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks perhaps in all the world we got addy over a lost leg but she's a vet opened. I see now the great Took care of Boozer's arm, though, I mean. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? This guy's overly we dramatic for no reason. Look at him. Them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, yeah. our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I Telling you that was his boyfriend. Company dismissed. Good shit, dude. Don't salute that motherfucker. Fuck him. Oh, they brought me my bike. All right, I don't know where we gotta go now. We do gotta finish burning out these nests. What's this? We probably gotta go kill Taylor. I'm assuming that's kind of what they want us to do. I think Corey has a mission for us. Let's go talk to him real quick. He's probably gonna send us out to go kill Taylor. Where the hell is he? He's somewhere over here. He was over here. Where the hell did he go? Get off the bike. Usually he's like over here by this tent or something. Yeah, 
interesting is we come in through here, and he's usually out to the side over here, but he's not here now. Alright, whatever. We'll ride out to camp. As soon as we leave, that's when they'll tell us to come back, as always. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. A lot of this game is about customizing your motorcycle, too. This is my second playthrough, so my bike's all hooked up. Like, we... We good. <laughs> we got the best of the best on a bike right now. But that kept me hooked, too, from the start when I started playing this. I just wanted to keep playing so I could keep customizing my bike, making it better and faster and make it look cooler. I really like the... The, um... Decals and stuff you could put on it. Yeah, I get it, bro. Taylor Where the fuck is Taylor? Heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what I'm Radio me if you do. The corporal. The corporal wants Taylor alive. Uh, copy that. Sent John out. I s always see that tripwire a second late because of these little fucking bush camping bitches, bro. <laughs> fucking hiding in bushes. To die instantly before you can even accomplish any. What the fuck? Oh, so he can have a flamethrower, but I can't, right? I can't have a flamethrower to burn out the crow's nest. Motherfuckers. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. On his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him at dusk. Fair trial? I'm giving him no fair trial. Who are you kidding? Where's my bike? My bike went all the way out this way, yo. Like, that's how fast I was uh, going. Yes, fair trial. Then, uh, but right. Anyway, just reporting in. St. John out. Where the hell is my bike? Yo, I fell off all the way back there. My bike kept going in here. That's how fast I was going. St. John, I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. And we don't even have any scrap to fucking repair it. Oh, I hate these guys, bro. <laughs> these this little Marauder bitches. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. If you ever need ammo. Guys, an NGO that wants North America it's always in the back Europe of the cop car. Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered is that something. scrap? That might have been scrap right you there on the ground. The places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. I'm all the way back here, my bike ended up down the hill. Just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. I can't take his bike, right? I scrapped the knows, shit out of that Maybe you're bike. right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. All these cars have been looted already. Hopefully we have enough scrap. Because of these little freaking... Bitch. <laughs> well, let me get the right angle. <laughs> Fucking putting trip wires on the road. Waiting in bushes for somebody to come through.
Is that a horde? That sounded awfully loud. Like it might be a horde? That's a wolf. I can fix this. Yeah, we got enough of scrap. I didn't think that was going to be enough. Alright, let's keep going. My brakes suck. Uh, murdering drifter camp. I've seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. Oh, we gotta stop and get our COVID vaccine real quick. Just what the doctor ordered. That's our like twelfth booster. I don't like riding through these caves because hordes of zombies like to hibernate in caves. Caves, caves. one of these murdering sons and bitches. Well, I mean, yeah, we have no choice. GPS sent us through their fucking camp, like... Yeah. How do you like that, huh? with this LMG, bro. Oh, I'm low. Because it is guy with this LMG. Okay, he won't be a problem no more. The rest of these guys can't shoot for shit. You son of a bitch. Anybody? Nobody? There's one more guy floating around somewhere. Finally. Here you are. One more to Just go. Looking in the entirely wrong direction. But he was probably guarding a bunker. There's probably a bunker in here. Yep. Gotcha. Ooh, sniper. It's clear. Now you know how it feels being on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got a bunker. bunker. There, right? Yeah, I bet they had a bunker. See, these are all like side this quests and stuff. It's not part of the main mission, but it was sending us through there anyway. What were we gonna do? Just keep There's riding the until they shot us off the bike? Yeah, <laughs> one. I don't know how the hell they have a toilet down here and a fucking bunker, but... Alright, so now that we did that, see, now we can see the whole map. Remember before it was all white, when I first marked this? It was all covered by the clouds? Well, now we can see the entire area. That's what that does. Then, you can sleep here to save. 
red scare. And then there's the gun locker. You can switch up your guns and stuff. I don't know if I showed you guys this before, all the different guns they have in the game. Shotguns, uh, SMGs, more shotguns, PPSH, rock chuck, I don't know what this is. It's probably an AR. That's a shotgun. Attack rifle. They got a bunch of different guns to choose from. The, the guns that I have right now is Chicago Chopper. The, these, I think, are the best guns in game. So I got the Chicago Chopper. I got the SMP9 as a secondary. Um, the level 4, though. See, level 4 mil spec condition versus, like, this is a level 3. This is a level 5 PDW. But that's a pistol. And then for the special... Um, I'm rocking with the MG55, the Special Forces Condition. I think you get this when you complete Wizard Island. That, I think, is the best LMG in game, and that's what I use to clear hordes. So It's either that or, like, um, a sniper rifle. But the sniper rifle ain't going to help you to clear hordes. So. But the sniper rifle is a good addition to have this one, the 50 cal. Go figure. But, yeah, that's what I'm running with for uh, Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American to clear hordes and stuff. And now, where's the ladder? Is red to the bone. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him. Now we gotta go kill Taylor. Dark times was to the go little junky fuck that we probably should have put out of his misery my first when we first met him, because he was kind of we on the weird side. With a, a horde and definitely moved through here. Ways from the road where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker. Basket. You could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. Huh. Oh, radio, damn, okay, didn't, wasn't pay attention. And ammo. Things haven't changed. No doubt, Pierre. I struggled with it too. <laughs> These guys in my stream, they'll tell you, they watch me struggle to get that 100 meter kill. And I really didn't think I was gonna get it there. I thought I was gonna have to go play combined arms or something, but. Yeah, Cope, how'd that work out? Yeah, that spot Mass definitely works. The one that I just cleared out. Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got there. I'm glad I could help out, though. Where is like, it? If you wanna help me out, you can hit that subscribe button. Time, yeah, yeah we've heard. I'm I would here. greatly appreciate it. Alright, so all this red stuff that you see on the map right now, I kind of don't want to stop here, but just following orders. These are all nests and stuff. Like you burn these out. Oh, there's a wolf. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. He's a hungry wolf. I am not your dinner. Leave me alone. Yeah, sure, Weaver. There's another wolf on me. Yeah, I'll be around. There's two on me. Get clubbed, bitch. There's a horde around here somewhere. You hear that noise? That sound? That sound usually plays when there's a horde around. Like that creepy... Horse and credits. Freaking music. So yeah, this is what you. This is why I'm always going crazy trying to find stuff to build molotovs for this right here. Yeah. This guy's in the car. So when you burn out nests and everything, let me show you the map real quick, right? Like this whole area right here. If we were to burn this whole area out, we could fast travel in this area. Like this is, I guess. This is a side quest. This is a side quest. But yeah, we'd be able to fast travel around this entire area. I'm not gonna go crazy doing all that right now, because, like I said, um, more bounties. I'll spend another freaking four days playing this game, trying to complete all the side quests, and I don't have four days to do that, so... Thanks, Pierre. I appreciate that. Honestly, I did not think that that spot was going to work, like, 
somebody on my team was like, yeah, just, you know, go to the window and shoot across. I didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> and then, boom, first shot that I get is a headshot, and just, boom, polar assignment complete. Let's take a look around. We're gonna find this dude high as hell off all them drugs that he stole. Gotta be footprints, something. I got something in my eye. What am I missing? And it's over here somewhere. Controller's vibrating. Oh, the bike right here. Duh. Alright. What have we got? Ah, you're mine now. <laughs> I knew about that spot for a while. That's how I used to play Armada back in the day. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. I will be taking a week off, but uh, once I come back, yeah, it's going to be Call of Duty Central. So hopefully I'll catch you around. Why am I riding my bike? Knowing damn well I got to follow his footsteps. Oh, something's stuck in my eye, man. I can't see shit. Trying to play one handed. Time. We're gonna find this guy strung out his mind. If he hasn't already overdosed, he better hope he overdosed. I gotta find a way inside. <laughs> that would be a newt. And if you don't know, newts are zombies that turned when they were still kids. So that's a kid I just killed. A zombified kid. What the what hell the is hell? this? Oh, this is the ski lift. These guys aim is terrible. Absolutely terrible. The only one that's got any aim is the sniper. And I don't even see him. Where is he? There he is. Right? No, he's behind us. Oh, we got one there. Like, look, I'm running right at them and they're barely hitting me. not one ear. Is this one ear? No, that's not one ear. Them nudes really won't fuck with you unless you fuck with them, so they'll just kind of sit up there and watch what you're doing, which is, I think, even creepier than zombies running up on you, but told you he's gonna be strung out his mind. Dickin St. John. How we doing, Taylor? Fucked up, man. You think? I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. 
I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. Please. Don't let them hang. Well, we could do it the humane way, throw a zombie at him. Okay, wait. I don't know if he caused him to overdose or he stabbed him in the neck. I think he caused him to overdose. Yeah, that's what he did. Kiddo deed. Gene, what is your obsession Good with Boozer's arm or lack thereof? <laughs> Why do I gotta carry his body? Like, it could be the key in like some futuristic game. You'll you'll play something else made by uh, I think this is made by but but Bethesda, whatever the hell it is. You'll you'll end up in a game and and you know, you'll need Boozer's arm as a key to unlock something. Done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now. Is not going to be happy about this. It's not our fault, he OD'd. What the fuck? The kid was a junkie. Don't put that on us. The fuck do you want me to do? Bring him in while he was seasoned? Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. It's already doing that, and we're not even in a zombie apocalypse yet, but... Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. The fuck you want? Looking at me like that, bro. I'll slap that mustache right off you. Alright, what do we got next? Uh, something you need, Deke? Sorry, just wandering around. Yeah, buy some ammo while we're in here. D, Corporal in command. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. And then she's out this way. Corporal St. John. Sarge, good to see you.
But see how this whole thing started? This, you had scientists fucking around with shit they shouldn't have been fucking around with. Just putting that out there. What is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. She's got us going out to train zombies. Yes, ma'am. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. We're going to, I guess, fucking knock out the zombie and then, what, drag it behind us? Like... <laughs> Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Well, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. News. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of news. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Well, not necessarily, because I'm the one that's going to have to test the weapon. Because I'm, I'm the only one that can fucking do anything in this you're entire for a world. I'm wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for this one. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. I kind of don't want to jump in the window because I don't know what the hell is going to be in there. Alright, this is the one we got to get right here, so we can't kill her. Sophia looking ass. It's a Walking Dead reference, by the way. Oh, I got to shoot it with the tranquilizer gun, right? Got you, you little shit. Oh, Jesus. Now what? Oh, clear by n nah. Oh, I guess I must have... That must have been their leader, because they were not attacking me until now. Been their leader. They're a uh, Smurfette. I just want to know what we're doing with this. Are we going to drag it behind us? Like, prop it up on the handlebars? Sorry, PS4 load time. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, hopefully it doesn't, you know, like, wake up while it's behind us. It was tranquilized for a little while before we, you know, picked it up. We had to kill everything. That'd be some shit. We'd just ride in the long mind in our own business, and next thing you know, we get bit in the ass by a fucking child zombie.
fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. I'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. We need that ring back, bro. That's my ring on your hand. I want that back. Okay. <sighs> well, now we know zombies still piss. What happened, Jenny? <whistles> what happened? gonna blow up. Oh, shit. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well, whew. I don't know what you put in that. We should walk away and leave it on the table. Are we sure it's dead? <laughs> damn it! And you're oh my god are you, are you are you trying to cure it i thought that once i got the original cell line from cloverdale that i could create antibodies for the virus and i could reverse engineer it jesus and now all of that work everything that i have worked on is for nothing Gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed and. <laughs> It never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... he's just, he That's why I got the subtitles on, James. The next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war. And I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this. Seeing how hard you work. Seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive. And here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well. I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> 
So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that? You would help me? Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. I feel like this chick is blind to what this man will do for her, like... <laughs> like, I don't think she's seen what we've been through the first half of this game trying to find her. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. She still oh, wants to go job. pick last. Man, Girl, Gene, that's women, man. I don't oh, know what you're going to do with them. They always on some other shit. World's over with this chick. Wanna go fucking pick lavender? I don't think you was in here when we first found her, and she was acting Are like the ready? only cunt towards Girl, us. Sir, so you should have heard sir. my reaction. Should have locked and loaded. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. Fucking Tom Selleck mustache over here. I really gotta get a PS5. This fucking load time is just... Figure that I think you should... should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. I can. No. Oh. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, so I think I, I did make a video of this. Like, this is one of my, like, very... First kind of videos calls. when I started this whole streaming thing. Good, good. Of uh, this uh, one mission. gonna come in handy. <laughs> oh, that would hurt. Right, we should be loaded up on ammo. Now, mind you, that video that I did, this is from like two years ago, whenever I played this, and I, I put this uh, find a way to slow them down. That on the channel. That was from when I had first played through the Couldn't game, so I didn't have the shit that I have now. I ain't scared now. Whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. 
You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. We're in a gas oh, station. Okay. Now, so realistically like speaking, I would just shoot the pumps Hawk's got and blow the fucking that. whole horde up while they're in the gas station. I'm in. But, realistically speaking, they're not going to allow us to do that because it's a fucking game. Okay, now, nobody is saying that we have to use this, so we're just going to chug grenades at them, because that's the best way to do this. I don't want to get too close, though, because like, I swear these dirty bastards can smell me. But I just want you guys to get an idea of exactly what it is we're going to be fighting right now. about a quarter of them with that oh run DK run. run oh my god crouch oh we're dead we're dead we're dead we're dead and we are only dead because I could not crouch through that hole in the fence if I could have crouched through that hole in the fence we'd have been good but the fucking game went a glitch What's up, Rocky? Yeah, we're not going that way. We're not going that way again. That was bullshit. That's the first time I've died through this entire playthrough. Okay, you guys realize that. That's the first time I have died. Tell me your plan again. <laughs> like I said, find a way to slow them down. All right, we should still have our grenades, up, though, right? All over each other. If I can find a narrow Got space pipe between bombs. trucks, buildings, whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Oh, Hawk's got nothing to do with it. Now, while I'm focused on this, I'm not... Oh! Gonna be paying attention to the chat, so... Let me know if you need my help. Oh, they right here. We ran up on them early. All right. I think that's a pipe bomb. Oh no, it's a grenade. Come on, Deacon, stop getting stuck on shit, man. Move, Saint John, move. You're gonna tell me. Alright, let's try out Weaver's shit, even though we know it works. Well, I mean, it would work. Uh, yeah, that's- so that's like a lot of zombies on us right now. Like, I mean, a lot, a lot. Like, a whole lot of zombies. And these guys, Take they're not stopping. Get they're they're on us. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. It works. Weaver's Molotov works. Yeah, we know it works. <laughs> we we know it works. It just doesn't work as well as we need it to. Here, cut! Grenades aren't working, they're moving too quickly. Holy crap, they're still coming. 
Right, These aren't like the other hordes where I can split them up. These guys are just on my ass, like. Oh, we're back up on the hill where this dude is. Shoot him, man! Shoot him! They chased us that whole way around. Alright, we got him about halfway. Oh no, 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 not the water, not the water, not the water. Come on, Deacon, go. Alright, we're gonna have to utilize this area. I hope you guys can hear me over all this crap that's going on. We're definitely gonna have to utilize this area, though, because there's a lot of shit to blow up. They're on you. That's kind of the plan. Up. That's good. Let's go, boys! Right here! What's that? Yeah, come on. Oh! Gotta smack the fuck out of me. Giant fuel tanker right there. Why can't I blow that up? to be and we're running out of um stamina so like we gotta come up with a better plan because this running shit is not doing it for us Not a good place to be. Not a good place hey, to John, be. Where are you going? What you mean leaving mission zone? Sorry, just got turned around. Heading back. Great, now I gotta dive into them. Wonderful. But almost no stamina left.
What else do I have? Throw some pipe bombs at him, I guess. Hurry, how am I that doing? Did nothing. You're almost there, Corporal. Maybe a quarter to go. Well, we're out of ammo on the LMG. I don't have much left on this either. We got one of these left. Almost out of ammo. And stamina. Come on, you son of a Oh, you don't like that, do you? Alright, we're good. There's only a couple left. And done. I can't believe it. You did it. You wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Can use this. Yeah, we can use a lot of stuff now. We just use up all of our use. supplies. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. All right, now we got to pick up all that shit that we dropped because I want to know just how many we killed. And uh, we haven't been killing zombies uh, like that, so everything with, we turn in for bounties is gonna be the to true number of how many yeah, we killed in that thrilled. horde. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I wanna tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. Let's pick up all this shit from all the zombies that we killed. Damn, we, we done took these bitches all over the place. Though we had this big ass gas tank right here. Look, now I would see it, right? This big ass gas tank that we could have fucking used to our advantage. Would have taken out a whole swarm of them instead of using up all my ammo, but it is what it is. We did take quite a few of them this way. But then, yet, yeah, we had to turn back because that was leaving the mission zone. Got a bunch of them over here. Some more back this way. But that was just ten right there we picked up. Another five. Seven. He's killing these guys all over the place. I'm just doing this so we get an idea of exactly how many was in that swarm. Yeah, we came through here. I 
And when I get back to camp and I sell this at the um the bounties, we'll see exactly just how many. I'm gonna say somewhere close to five hundred. That's gonna be my guess. That might be all of them. Oh yeah, we'll take some free ammo. If we can pick it up. There we go. I don't know why it's telling us to give me the back door, but... Yeah, that helps to make Molotovs. Is that ammo? That's something. Alright, that might be everything, I think. I hope. There's definitely more ammo over here. Take this up. And for the record, I just want to state, it's not because of Weaver's Molotovs that we killed that sword. It's because of my LMG. And my ability to do this. <laughs> and key points. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think we picked up everything. Well, there was another gas tank over here we could have came through and blown up. See? That would have made a difference. Yo, y'all see these motherfuckers? Oh, they trying to charge $8.13 for a fucking regular tank of gas, bro. I'll be damned I ever pay that much for gas. I'll blow the car up first. Eight dollars a gallon. We probably got some supplies in here. I'm just doing this because we used up a lot of our supplies. Like, a lot. And this is not stuff we can refill in camp. This is stuff you have to scavenge for, so... Usually I wouldn't take out hordes that way for this exact reason. I'll just shoot them with ammo and then, yeah, buy more ammo. But that horde wouldn't stop chasing us, so we got to do a little bit of scavenging. Just a little bit, not much. Alright. As long as we can rebuild some stuff in the event that we need it, we should be good. So grenades we can buy. Ammo we're good on. All right, we should be good. Let's meet back up with Curry. Coming down this way, running through this this muck water, whatever the hell you want to call it, that should almost fuck me up. Is a Nero okay. injector over here too? Uh, I wonder what's in here. I hear it. It's got to be in the cave. Hold on, let me pick this up real quick. Our little COVID vaccine. Our thirteenth booster. Another narrow injector. Good. So this is where that horde was living. That's why when we were up on the hill we seen them coming from this direction because all of them five hundred motherfuckers was all living in here. In this tiny ass cave just on top of each other. That's why when we were standing on that hill, they were going out that way. They were just coming out for the night. Oh, that's what else we gotta do, too. We gotta... What do we need for this? We need berries. We gotta pick berries to rebuild the stamina kato.
Because that was clutch, too. Oh, shit, we got a whole bunch of zombies over here that we didn't um, run over. Eh, run over. Yeah, but that stamina was definitely clutch, because without that, they would have overrun us. The fact that we were able to, to run faster than them definitely helped. I think we ran through all this stuff over. You know what? It don't matter. We're gonna get a, a an idea of how many we killed. I'm mad we ran through here though. Like we ran right past our bikes. This it. dude was just like, Deacon! Uh, like, bro, shoot! Well, fuck! Oh, <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. With mean, the way you were one step ahead of him? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. <sighs> Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. go oh, I'm sorry lieutenant oh, shit. it didn't work oh, I'm sorry lieutenant but you're out of a job hell yeah it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> you should have been there man we really lit him up oh man we're gonna celebrate tonight the officer's mess <laughs> all right looks like somebody's getting a promotion hey man you coming uh you know what let me I'm gonna catch up B. I gotta I gotta take care of something first all right you handle that that's the last of it be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. I'm telling you, though, they had like on? some like uh, thing going on. Where the is doctor. the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R and D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's. Been, uh... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Eddie's captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I think I should have here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.
Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Hurry out. All right, that was just the wolf bell, so the wolf project. Side what project? There's a bounty station. Can I help you? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I All won't right. tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question. 245 about your swarmer ears. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need I thought me it was to more collect than that. water oh, hemlock. Oh, you got a few. Good. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal. It's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. In the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn up their nests. Now wait till you burn see what she does nests. with this poison. <laughs> uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Hey, Lieutenant Whitaker out. To be here. Wait till y'all see what she does with this poison that she just sent him out to buy. <laughs> or buy Burn to go get. Nests. Gonna need Molotovs. Alright, so yeah, it was 245 swarmer ears we just sold off. I thought the, the swarm was bigger than 200, but... Sir, I was... You know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these, looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. Him and this tea. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens, in the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was the soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah, <laughs> heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That would be me in the apocalypse. Yeah, I need music, man. I can't I can't do this show without music. Ooh, 
We got almost 40 grand in camp credits in here. Now we have zero scrap, so we cannot be fucking around with these marauders and crashing into their stupid shit. And we can't go out that way. I thought we could. We have no scrap, and we hit fucking- what is this, rice? And we're still hitting the rice. Holy crap. I hate having to ride through this entire camp to get out. There's a speed limit in here. It takes forever to get out. That was not necessary. How far are we going anyway? It looks like it's sending us far as fuck. I guess this is where we're going. To. Yeah, that's where Sarah's sending us for the plant. And who the fuck knows where we were sending us to get his headphones. Now we got a ways to go. Weaver, yeah, I can barely hear you though. You're breaking up. Okay, yeah. where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college, uh, the one east of here off Highway 97. Yeah, that's the one. Home of the fighting platypus or some shit. Anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tools. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Ready me when you get there. We've got... Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say. O'Brien? Come in, O'Brien. I know you're in this channel. Drifter? Oh, I didn't think shit. I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. Found her. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her. She's alive. She's being held by uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. Weaver, here. Say, John. All right, well, okay. since Weaver's thing is right here, okay, it's a main quest. Come on, so we'll okay, do it while we're up here. Wait, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well. I want to know what happened with O'Brien, though. Like, he was calling him for help. What was the plan on that? Or do we have to wait until we get out of here now? Here they are. It's gotta be it. Oh, I remember this. There's a fucking horde in here. And we were gonna try to get us killed to get his fucking MP3 player. And here they come. Lag. 
Oh shit. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So much for going in quiet. That did not work out. We gonna kill him, that's how we gonna get through it. Okay, this horde is easier to take out because they're split up. It's definitely a horde. They're just split up. The rest of them are still in there, they haven't come out yet. See, when it's not a mission, and they're not sending you in to kill hordes, you can take them out separately. Oh, Brian! Okay, where the hell have you been? See, here they come. I told you they were in there. But these we can split up. See, if we run far enough away, they'll turn around, they'll go back. They won't keep chasing us like the others did. Oh! Fucking screamer, bitch! As if we needed more zombies on us. This is fun. And we have no stamina and a ton of zombies on us. Get smacked up a couple times and shoot. We can't outrun him. Corporal St. John. And there's another Garrett streamer over here. Board. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. This guy's going crazy yes, in there. Remember. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is he sipping on in his tea. He wants to fucking hang everybody now. He was chased north. Let me hit my bike up real quick and take some ammo out of the satchel. Because that horde is still in there. We haven't killed it yet. They are still definitely in there. Let our ammo come back up. This is Ricky to lo Like, everybody's trying to contact me now while I'm on this mission. And I'm missing a ton of dialogue. What's this? Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. See, they're still moving around in there. Just once I leave the campus, they don't follow me out. And here they come again. Look over the wall.
still don't think that was the whole horde. I still think there's more. They turned back around and went back inside. I don't think everything chased us out. We got a good amount of them, though. Why? What am I at now? I was at 2.19 last night when I got off, I think. 2.18, 2.19, something like that. Where am I at now? I'm whooping zombie ass, Gene. I'm clapping eight cheeks. Yeah, I only got like four, I think. Fucking zombie bath salts over here and shit. Nest residue. Ew, it sounds sticky. <laughs> Ooh, they on my ass. They on my ass. Stay on my ass. Oh, we gotta hit our bike up too. And refill this uh, LMG ammo. Well, Brad, let me ask you have you been stopping by other people's streams? Because that does have a lot to do with it. Yeah, Jim was busy last night. He he didn't even pop into mine. He I mean he popped in, he said hi, but yeah. That's how you know Gene's busy. Alright. I think we're good on the horde. I think Deacon said we were good on the horde, that they were dead. There might be a couple stragglers still, but I think we took up for the most part. Yeah, there's only a couple left. You see what Weaver got us into though? All this to get him an MP3 player, like... I get it, bro. Music is life. I get it. But maybe next time risk your life and not mine? Okay. That was like three days ago. I was at uh, 307. Weaver's got us looking for his MP3 player now. I still hear zombies outside. And I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, when I'm not streaming myself, I'm always in somebody else's stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you, most of the time I'm not even paying attention to what you guys are doing, but I got it playing in the background, so. <laughs> here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. What you got here, nothing? Alright, so we just cleared another horde without even meaning to. We was just coming in here just to come, just to come get Weaver's MP3 player, that's all. Oh, they said something about restoring power, but that's an optional thing. There's something around here. There we go. Now the horde is cleared. Alright, let's not worry about that. That was an optional mission optional mission about restoring power, so that's not important. 
Let's hop over here, refill our ammo. Hop on a bike. And go get what Sarah needs now. GPS, always trying to send us the long way. We always trying to take a shortcut. Of all places to fucking to to fucking glitch out, it had to be right there when I'm about to hit the tree. Uh oh, the skulls of the poison. Okay, okay. I was about to say, uh, what the hell's going on over here with all this shit? Like, <laughs> what are all these fucking X marks the spots, pirate-looking skulls? We gotta pick all this shit. And here's some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. Okay, just a few more. <sighs> I gotta find more. <sighs> that should do it. Oh, that's it? That's all we needed? This shit grows in abundance here. We can't take more? So a couple people. If I find Schizo, I'll rub some of this on him real quick. Ow. Oh, shit. Stay doing damage to my bike. Oh, we gotta find berries, too. I don't know what the, the berry symbol is, but... Let's see what this is right here. It was out here somewhere. This way, right here. So we can build the stamina cocktail. We end oh, up in trouble here. again. No, that's Arrowhead. That's not it. So if we do run into another horde, we can outrun the bastards. Hate going through this area. One of these days, I'm gonna go through here. And there's gonna be a horde walking through it. What am I doing? Fucking fast travel. We're running out of time. I don't think they're gonna let me ride my bike in there. Yeah, that was I know. <laughs> That's as far as we go on the bike. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? 
Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. <laughs> As you were. What'd that say? I never stop loving you? I missed that. I was looking at my phone. I think that's what that said. Hold on. Let me rewind the stream real quick. It says, I never stop loving you, Sarah. Oops. I don't know what I just did, but that's not what I meant to do. Fuck. Okay. Now we got poison bolts. Before we leave here, we gotta refill. So, my man's gotta put gas in my bike because I'm not trying to go out looking for it. I know I did some damage Corporal to it, I crashed into a bunch of shit. You, man. Sarge. Ranked up $205 worth of repairs. Okay. Corporal St. John, Adik. See you around. And we need ammo. Corporal St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Oh, we're full on ammo. We just gotta fill the saddlebag. Med kits are good. Okay, now that's more like it. Right. Huh? Oh, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John, I'll catch you later. Oh, we gotta have Weaver his shit, right? Yeah, we gotta give Weaver his shit real quick while we're here. Let me mark that so I know where to go to him. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. Oh, man, what do we have here? Oh! Brother! After two years, that thing still has uh, power on it. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John! You one of the good ones, man! Brother from another mother. After two years, that iPod still has fucking power on it. Okay. Alright, now. We're getting towards the end. I think, yeah, we, we gotta meet with O'Brien now. Ricky was trying to contact us, too, when we were taking that horde out. Come on, don't make me wait. Open the gate. You've seen me coming from all the way back there. You should have been had this shit open. Woo! Oh, that's a rager.
another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down and make it safer. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Usually when I do story mode games and stuff, like as I go through stuff, I'll, I'll complete everything. That way I don't have to come back later and do it. But because I've played through this already and we are limited on time, I'm only sticking with the story missions for the rest of this playthrough. It works out better that way too because if you guys haven't played this and you're watching, there is still some stuff on here that you are. Uh, You'll be surprised about. So we should be meeting with O'Brien now. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Mm -hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, Nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> the tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be in it there. If there's something else, we'd like you to check. We did send the team in on foot. What else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have yeah, all the this answers. thing is is heavily oh, mutated from what he's telling us, so this is not we're talking about what we're used to fighting. Years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants, oh. bees, and other. You know, to me, it sounds like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. Stuck in zombie shit. Yeah, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Oh, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I think I remember out. this mission, and I don't think I like it at all. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this, and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. Brian, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. 
Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, probably would. Say, John out. Oh, that's this motherfucker. He was not fun to fight. And you can tell he's not fun to fight because look at how much supplies they're giving us right now. If you've ever played a video game, <laughs> you know this is not good. I gotta put this somewhere where I'm not gonna step on it. You know what? I don't even want it. I don't even want it because I'm gonna end up stepping in it. It's gonna fuck me up. We ain't fighting him. Like, we ain't... Like we did last time when we had nothing. O'Brien, oh, I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Where's that? Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no! He's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Chen. Get Chen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? I'm so fast. I didn't see it coming. Are you told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? Oh, I'm here. I can hear you. I can't you. believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, my baby. Can... We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Cooper! Cooper! Jen. I'm so sorry. Overly dramatic for no reason. Brian out. Preacher. Oh, Brian, what's Reacher? Never mind. We know what Reacher is now. No, it's not a dog. It moves like one, though. Man, she ain't care about Cooper. She was sleeping with his best friend. Talk to me. So, um, this be Reacher. Reacher. What? Not Jack Reacher. Long arms, claws. What? No, it's just fast. We've clocked it moving forty miles an hour. Forty. Nice. Nice, 40 miles an hour, wonderful. Maybe you should abort. I don't know, hell with that, I'm not aborting anything. This isn't your fight. He ain't so fast when he's getting shot the fuck up. Come on, Deke, reload. Come on. He was so much harder to kill the first time. <laughs> I kid you not, bro. That dude was so hard to kill the first time. Now this is a really big cave, right? A really big cave that a really big horde lives in. And it was getting dark when we came in. 
O'Brien. Oh, that was getting dark. The sun I was coming up. Samples. Hey, John, get out of there. What? Get out of there now. There's a horde coming. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's Shit, what that we need, Deacon. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Me fighting these bitches down in a fucking cave. This is not fair at all. <laughs> okay, it got quiet. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Barely. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. That was a little horde, though. I thought it was going to be worse than that. What time is it? Five o'clock. I'm gonna play for like another hour. I don't know if we're gonna finish this. I might have to do one more stream tomorrow before I leave. And hopefully complete the walkthrough. Playthrough. Whatever you want to call it. Brian. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back in the blood. Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't know what it shit. Survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper. The others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did, didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. All right, so we got a way out. We just gotta take out this, these uh, anti-RPG shits. It'd be nice to just ride off into the sunset. Oh shit. That's what we're doing over here. Saint John out. He's one of our best friends. I'll catch the motherfucker. This 
No, I just want to ride off into the sunset away from these fucking zombies. I didn't say Sarah had to come with me, man. I'm at the point I'm ready to leave this bitch right where the fuck she is. Like, got me doing all this extra shit. She ungrateful anyway. What do we got? Back on track. The Colonel, I've spotted him. Come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! Following him though, that's what's pissing me hey, off. Like, stop the damn bike. ow, he's gonna get away. He's gonna get the fuck away, all because my camera was going everywhere, but after this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> He's been doing it for 20 plus He might have been, man. He might have been. He thinks he has. Doesn't mean he's right, though. Does not mean he's right. I guess I'm just used to other games where the fucking chase camera stays on target. Just so I gotta, like, stay on him and watch I don't hit trees at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fell in by chase, uh huh? He was one of our best riders. If he let him get away. This time, we're going to position ourselves right here, so we don't have to turn around. Not that it made a difference, because we, we were on his ass. Which way? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Gotta take all that. Take all that. And make sure that our side piece is reloaded. Yeah, we're good. There you are. Colonel, have spotted him. Come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! I'm gonna run you down! No, I'm already fucking up. I hate these fucking chase Let fucking get away, missions. I hate these shits in GTA, too. My man's just throwing fucking Molotovs at us, like... See, like, I didn't know he was turning there, that's gonna fuck me up. Why does it keep doing that? Like, hey, asshole, stay on target. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Don't let him get away, Deke. <laughs> Come on, he's halfway. Trees. Oh my god, he's gonna get away again. He's definitely gonna get away again. I hate these chase missions, man. I had him too, he was fucking halfway. And he just kind of bobbed and weaved right out of my vision. Punk ass bitch. 
caution. Yeah, yeah, I know. Tells me he was one of our best riders. Come on, upgrade my bike. My bike is fully upgraded. Fuck you. Trying to tell me I suck. How would you see about that? Say, John, out. Gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Go, 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 go. Come on! You're gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! Oh my god, seriously? Okay, Deke, you know how it goes? Shoot his tires! Shoot his tires! Never got you! No! 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 Uh. Okay, Deke, you know how it goes? Shoot his tires! Shoot his tires! No! Are we out of ammo? I think we're out of ammo. Oh my god, perfect. Perfect, we had just ran out of ammo. Oh my god. I'd have been so pissed. You ain't been doing this shit 20 years, bitch. How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a... I'm in all my headphones, I swear I'm screaming. Yo, my name is like, yo, what is wrong with this bitch? <laughs> I got windows open and shit, so... I think I already did. Ah, don't matter much to me one way or the other. God damn the anarchist. Need to fuck my bike up. Colonel, I've got him. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, Costas. Wait! Wait, you can't leave me! The freaks! The freaks! Yeah, yeah, the freaks is gonna get you, bro. Stop, don't leave! Alright, we gotta go back to camp, right? Fast travel, clear infected to travel to this location. Please. See, that's what I mean about having to clear the shit out so that way we don't have to ride through here. And we could just fast travel right back. So once we, we uh, get out of this area, we should be able to fast travel. Why are we riding so slow? <laughs> Blueberry the back pocket. <laughs> there they go, they're gonna go get his ass. I don't know why there's a bunch of gas tanks and shit in the road, like... Okay, we cannot ride through there. I thought we could have. No, it's gonna send us this way. I hate when it sends us up to these canyons. This bike is too fast to be riding around in these fucking canyons like this. Can we fast travel yet? No, we got one more infected zone to clear. So. No! Oh shit. Oh, that looked like that was gonna hurt. Alright, once we clear this area, boom, should be able to fast travel. No. To here, yeah. Okay.
I love how they just dive out of the way like that. You get busy, repair this shit. Hey, Deke. That uh, corporal. Sarge. Okay. Corporal St. John, at Deke. See you around. Chat, the events in the store were somewhere I left you out of the southern, southern region. So I don't give a fuck. I don't want to be down here anyway. <laughs> I have had a revelation. Whose bone Last is he holding? Night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, Was that west, fresh? south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. Yeah. My no man's making s'mores. What the fuck going on over there? They bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, which we have purged. Right. <laughs> camps filled with degenerates, thieves. Drug addicts and murderers. We are threatened. All of us. You go after lost like you're gonna be threatened, bro. We live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. No! No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow man. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. To save all the knowledge. So when the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. Yeah. Don't yeah. Be built. Built. Here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. No. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. We are sent forth. To baptize the world with fire! Oh, that's what that was. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move. I did say he was a lunatic from the start, didn't I? And St. John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, the militia camp. You've disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll Brian out. Gotta get to the RPGs. Where? Would they be? Oh, the towers. It's gotta be the towers. Could we run any slower? That's right. Keep moving. Speech? Move it against other camps? Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some grub water. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, all right. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah, uh, they had one RPG, O'Brien. That's what Come you were afraid of? One RPG? You couldn't dodge one RPG? Hang on. I'm coming. That would have been nice to take when battling hordes. I mean, we didn't have to disable it. We could have thrown that shit on our back. Taking hordes out. One, two, three. Even that. More like a one, maybe a two. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Got to keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the orders... Good night. Make sure we're clear. Oh, good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? 
O'Brien? I'm here. We're heading up to the cone, and we got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close, and if we see anyone... Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Now, we're getting on a chopper. I gotta leave my bike! So who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? Oh, shit, Weaver! No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private! Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man! That canister! Right there! I don't want to see that canister Oh, I think he's working with us. He should be, bro. We risked our lives to get shit, to that MP3 let player. Go. Weaver let us go. Oh, shit. More guards. Okay, hold here. I got a suppressor. I think I got a suppressor. Oh, they moving? Okay, because I was ready to kill them. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the mirror chamber, he's coming here? Yeah, look. It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean, God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment? Oh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. I don't know. Something's wrong. Soldier, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. This area is off limits. How dare you? You talk back to me, officer. Do you know the penalty for disobeying? Ah! Hmm. Nice. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. Oh, or you ah. can just do that. I mean. Well done. Come on. We're almost there. To see Boozer again. You uh, you want to go with me to Lost Lake? I mean, I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. I thought we weren't allowed to go back to Lost Lake. Iron Mike told us if we left, don't come back. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know. I saw someone. Oh no! Now I got you. Come on, we were right there, bro. Seriously, these fucking sneak missions, bro. And why are they chasing after me anyway? They don't know that I've done anything yet. Like, what the fuck? She's cool, but I'm not? I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Wait, wait, wait. All right, we gotta wait for this dude to move, find out his pattern before we go any further, because he's just gonna keep turning on us, unless I shoot him in the fucking face, which I might very well do. But I don't know, because he has a helmet on, so he might not die instantly. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you wanna go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are, I mean, I just wanna see him, he's like my big brother. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me? Hey, what? Ah. Nice. You too. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. These fools were all going nuts downstairs. Okay, we made it. Where's it? Where is he? Where's O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just uh, oh, need to. Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant, I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! This motherfucker here. Yeah. 
that was our ride. Had to be Schizo, bro. We should have killed this motherfucker fucking three days ago. I was just trying to tell you Don't that we were going on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, Do you listen to him camp over I told me? You, about? you know me I am not. like the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. This is full of shit. I'm you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. He comes out of nowhere, lying. and you're gonna believe what, what's him? What's that camp you you're saying I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? What the fuck? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the he did fuck not. are you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. Some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something. Like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel. This shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn it. <clears throat> How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. You hide behind Cerberus? angelic names! You know the truth and throw the truth is, he got kicked out you of You are Judas! Of a fool. And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! You motherfucker. You're dead. I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! What did the officer- Colonel, it was me! Uh, it was me! But Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Now do you see how much he loves you, bitch? In the search for truth. The blood of innocence. His spirit. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Corey, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial. And he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have one. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh. Oh.
Well, it looks like we won't be riding our bike anytime soon. Fucking low time, man. Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <sighs> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? It's not something you see every day. I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from a lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name, it ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. And it was kind of giveaway. He has and Sarah tattooed on his neck. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. See, I told you Corey was cool. Wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <laughs> Holy Tax. Lord, genocide? I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well, then what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh... And I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? They spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. <clears throat> Hey, uh, uh, Kuri. When I told the colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. Good shit, we got our stuff back. Well, at least our hat. We don't got our, our cut. Our boozers got our cut. But we got our bike. What did you drive? Jetty, what are you doing, buddy? Alright, I think that's what we need, right? Gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Ricky. Save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way for you, I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh Sanium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, it's fast away. That was a Reaper. That, that big shit that we put in the tunnel, that's what that was. Head north. So th th these shits have started to evolve out in the wild. This motherfucker, yo. Every fucking time. Save that in case we need it. I'm still stunned, I can't see straight. Oh! What the hell? Did the sniper just shoot the flamethrower and blow him up and kill me? Is that what just happened? Uh, 
Alright, we know that's there, so we ain't hitting that again. So we hit the rock instead. Lovely. Did we clear it, though? No, it's up this way more. Checkpoint. Shit. This wasn't here before. Oh, no way around it. Ow. Yo, I just keep dying. Or, like, not dying, but fucking almost dying. Stretch. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. My bike's on fire. Come on, come on, come on. He's standing on top of a flammable fucking truck, like. Could have easily blown that whole shit up. Come on. I'll take that. Heavily armored, holy shit. Oh, that's where the LMG is coming from. Run, Deacon. What the fuck are you doing? My man's got precision fucking aim up here, like. I did get knocked the fuck out. You seen that? What's up, Ben? There he is. You know what? Fuck you, bro. We still got one more on us. Is that all of them, huh? Where'd you all go? Yeah. That's what I thought. Can't jump over this? There we go. At least my bike didn't take the damage of hitting that rope again. So maybe that did kind of work out for us. What the hell? I'm trying to... There we go, from there. Hey, we gotta get to Lost Lake and these guys are over here. Oh, that's because these are the Colonel's men. That's, that's why they're so heavily armored. Can I ride right through here? That's scrap. We might need the scrap. We're gonna need the scrap, but we can scrap. take the mag kit too. Alright. Should be good. Yeah, see, they're giving us a lot of scrap for a reason because, yeah. We could be running into a lot of checkpoints on the way back, probably. <clears throat> Thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. Hang on, loser. I'm coming. If I can get right through here, I'm going for it. These snipers, man, like they are no fucking joke. Had I known this, I would have equipped a sniper rifle. Oh, 
And now I got a flamethrower on me. Jesus Christ. Alright, since we ain't taking on no hordes, I think I'm picking up the, a sniper rifle off the next fucking sniper I kill. Where's this flamethrower? Fuck out of here, bitch. I don't even care about these little guys. I care about the fucking sniper that is fucking taking all of my damn health. <laughs> Can't jump up this way? Oh my god, bro. Fuck. Fucking die already, like. Yeah. Alright, let me see if I can take this dude's sniper rifle. Cause if they're gonna keep running up on me like that. He was over here, right? I blew him up over here. He's over here somewhere. Wait, is this him right here? I think this is the sniper, but... He ain't got a sniper rifle on him. Damn it! There's no med kits or nothing in here, right? But we took a lot of damage. That. What's this? Ah, uh, this is what we need. We gotta get All our bike right, away from here. Gotta blow my way in. Perfect. My bike takes a crazy amount of damage, and I don't have the scrap to repair it. And we'll be walking all the way back to Lost Lake. Stop Deacon St. John. So. Yeah, be trying though with these damn the freaking I'm blind or something. Damn it. They just don't want me to get to Lost Lake. And I'm a bike Ricky, solo. Lost Lake camp, come in. 
Ricky, your bike, come in. Deke, you're alive. Schizo said you were dead. Fine, Schizo, damn it. Fine, Iron Mike. Ricky, talk to me. What's going on? What? Schizo came rolling in with an army militia. Find him now. The lodge. I'm coming, I'm coming. On the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it, man. Right on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Kill every goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? A bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. Oh, Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. You lazy you wouldn't bitch, you listen to, to me and let me kill Schizo when I wanted to. <laughs> Let me kill Schizo in the first place. Could have killed him right here, right where you oh, land. Alpha Galden. Go through all that trouble. God, I gotta know I'd my look like this. Okay, okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got it. Wrong, Deke. No, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just you get back on your feet. You'll no. burn him. I was, I was wrong. When we find Schizo, we're ripping his balls off. Before we kill him. They're gonna shove him down his throat. Easy way to say this. Iron Mike's dead. He stopped. He tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. He tried to reason with him. And. Okay. Yeah, I... Shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. We don't have time for this because. Because the men that we killed today. Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one of them. Who's it gonna try? Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm a goddamn drip. You're right. 
There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. If I'm Boozer, tell me maybe you like Cali. So I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dump truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. And that's a how you make a bomb. A truck bomb. That's your plan. Militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that, we tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, she's in the caves. It's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sa Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't, I don't, but I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're I can go in, I can find her, I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Like Iron Mike and the rest of them are just the first casualties in that war. <laughs> it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. <sighs> I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nate. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do it alone. All right. Okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit them. You hit them at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're going to rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to need some supplies. Good old boozer and his one arm. I can play so much shit right there. Get all set up for this. How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, <coughs> truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh huh. I figured. They put this together real quick. Real quick. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. Hmm. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. They put that together quick. We just spoke to them like 20 seconds ago. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's ready. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got to do the setup for this. We got to get our fertilizer. We got to load the truck. And then, yeah, we're going to do all this stuff. Um, I don't know if we should attempt to finish this now or we'll save the rest of this for tomorrow because I do got to cook dinner. And then we got to do our last... Call of Duty stream tonight, so I think we're gonna cut it off here, and we'll do the main conclusion, since this is still part 7 anyway, and then tomorrow we'll have it just the finale of Days Gone. Because, yeah, I don't want to get caught up in this, and then it's 8 o'clock and nobody eats, so. So I'm gonna cut the stream off today, here, for Days Gone, and tomorrow we're gonna pick up with the uh, exciting finale, which I'm sure you can figure out what's to come. 
But I will be back in a little while, guys. I'm going to make some dinner, and then I'm going to hop back, and we're going to do our last night stream until next Wednesday-ish, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of them days. So uh, make sure you tune back in later, and uh, I'll catch y'all then. Y'all be good.